What's going on YouTube and this is Sensor Stack Forum with another instructional video this time about speeding up your Mac OS's current version. Many of you have complained about your Macs being slow so here we are with the speed up steps. For step 1 we're gonna close any unnecessary windows that may be actively running on your Mac. Now as you may know Mac OS often minimizes a lot of windows and indicates them with a small white dot in object dock. Closing those apps will help make sure that you free up a lot of your computer's RAM also known as random access memory. This will in turn result in immediate boost of speed for your Mac. You can simply close them by right clicking them and clicking on quit or force quit and as you can see from the video here some of the apps have to be opened and you have to confirm that you're closing them. Some of the apps need to be, at, uh, be opened from a window and you have to click the X to close them. And always make sure to save your data when you close these apps so you can later uh, open it and uh, resume your work. That just about sums it up for step 1. Step 2 is to check Activity Monitor. Now Activity Monitor is just like Task Manager in Windows. You can open it by clicking on the Finder and then typing it in the search activity monitor app. Opening activity monitor will show you all of the processes that are currently running on your Mac and you can see what type of percentage of your CPU each process is taking and also what kind of RAM is being taken up. You can also see if your GPU is being taken up by some particular process and you can use the table to prioritize which process is taking up most of your processor's power. For example here we see that Google Chrome is taking up some CPU and we want to close it. We we'll simply click on the X button and click on force quit. This will also help you find out some apps that may be cramping up your device and help you deal with those apps. Well that just about sums it up when it comes to step 2. For the next step, we're going to be uninstalling apps that are unnecessary on your Mac. This is pretty simple. All you have to do is navigate to the gold drop down menu and then click on applications. When you open your apps, you'll see all of your installed apps. All you have to do is simply find apps that you're not regularly using and that you find to be annoying or uh, cramping up your Mac uh, with unnecessary space. Removing those applications will help free up your Mac space and in turn speed it up. Uh, make sure to also be careful what type of apps you remove because you could end up removing some important apps that you use very often. So always do your homework before doing this step. Now for the next step we're going to be running Disk Utility. Disk Utility is a very useful tool that when opened could help show you what is the state of your drives. You can simply open it from Finder and when you do that you will see what that kind of space from your Mac is used, which space is taken and you can also check your disk for errors using uh, some tools in the disk utility like the first aid tool. This tool running it uh, will help make sure to check your drive for errors and in turn speed up your Mac by fixing these uh, drive errors or so. Uh, this tool is very useful, uh, do not underestimate it and we would highly suggest that you give it a shot. For the next step we're going to be looking at managing your device's permissions. The permissions of Mac are often the reason why it could be slow at times. The main reason is when you open the system preferences here and then let's say we go to uh, general or security and privacy and we open it we can go at full disk access now bear in mind that some of the applications on your Mac are taking up full disk access and by having this access they can abuse it to slow your Mac down by running some uh, disk uh, processes in the background Ticking off those applications will make sure that your Mac is sped up again and this will also help you find which kind of applications are slowing it down and hence uninstall them of course. Another 
Important aspect to check is the notifications of your Mac. Usually, a lot of Macs are cramped up with notifications by many different applications and disallowing those notifications by clicking on the app and unticking allow will help make sure your Mac does not receive this many notifications and, of course, is freed up of space as a result of that, so your Mac won't be able to bother you with these notifications and, of course, be faster. The next step is to stop several cloud services running actively at once. This step will help make sure speed up your Mac significantly because often if you have more than one cloud service running, uh, these services are actively working in the background of your Mac and are syncing information with what you do. So the best thing you can do is go back to the applications and look for any double cloud services like for example third-party services like OneDrive for example and prioritize which one is important for you let's say here we prioritize iCloud Drive and we get rid of OneDrive you can also use OneDrive by uh, your browser you can use it by some other um, some other means but uh, having multiple cloud services on your Mac is generally a bad idea and is one of the reasons it might be slow for the next step, we will update the Mac OS version. Now, it is one of the biggest myths, guys, that the Mac, uh, when updated, is running slow. Trust me on this one. It's actually the opposite. You should go to System Preferences and go find Software Update, where you can find the latest version of your Mac. You can also upgrade it by clicking on Upgrade Now, or you can uh, automatically keep up your Mac to date by uh, uh, clicking on the advanced button below. This will help make sure when to install the update so you aren't bothered. Trust me guys, this step will surely help speed up your Mac because the newer versions are actually more optimized. Now for the 8th step, we're gonna be scanning, optimizing and removing any malware or junk files from your device to speed it up. This is probably the step that will have most effect on your max speed. Now, for this tutorial, we have decided to use this tool because uh, it does a great job for us. Um, you can see that uh, it offers a custom scanning option that can help clean up some buggy files, some uh, memory uh, issues, privacy issues, vulnerabilities. It will scan for large duplicate files and also remove some unnecessary items from your Mac. All you have to do is select them on the custom scan and just the tool will take care of the rest for you guys. And after this tool is done, as you can see here in our case, it found uh, about 4 gigabytes of uh, files that are um, clunking up our Mac with uh, unnecessary space and are slowing it down. And now the tool will make sure to automatically fix those uh, those errors and uh, delete all of the files and it also has detected that we have some cookies these cookies are often tracking our information so this tool will also improve our privacy as well so by clicking on the next button here it will ask you to close any browsers if are running and it will help clean up your Mac uh, by any uh, junk files that you may have missed while doing the previous steps or cleaning them manually so this is why such professional tools are uh, often recommended by many experts. And yeah, that just about sums it up on speeding up your Mac, guys. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. We'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. It will help us keep the channel alive. And also make sure to leave us a like and comment. If you have any questions, we'll make sure to answer it as soon as we can, guys. Peace out.